Hello, I'm Vega and welcome to making an LED angel halo. Can you buy this online pre-made? Absolutely, probably, but I am a very stubborn cosplayer and I like to make everything myself. So I'm gonna walk you through how I made this little, this little light up halo for all of my angel cosplays. I bought all of my electrical components from Adafruit Industries. Here I have a flexible silicone neon LED strip, a female DC power adapter, and a AA battery holder with an on and off switch. You can see here that the strip is incredibly bright and it even shows up well during the day. The first step was to make the halo shape. I started by marking the halfway point and then flipping one side of the strip. I didn't realize originally when I was buying it that only one side was LED, but was thankfully able to make it shine both ways with a bit of twisting. To join the two strips, I used zap straps. Now, I experimented with other options such as contact cement and hot glue, but the LED strips are so smooth that any sticky substance just slides right off, so I found the straps to be the most secure and reasonably easy to blend in. If you've measured it out precisely, you should only need straps in the back as the friction and pressure will keep the strip in line at the front. The next step is to add the wire support. I measured out about 4 inches along the inside to place the wire, but looking back on it now, I would recommend placing the wire on the outside to better hide it during photos. I then measured out the height of the halo and wrapped around to where the ear would be. Adding those three lengths together gave me the length of garden wire to use on each side. I then threaded the wire through the first sap strap and added another strap on the other end. This was done on both sides, and then twisted the two wire pieces together down the back until they separated again to go around the head. Then of course add a few more zap straps for extra security and to keep the two sides tight together. To shape the wire support properly, I used a combination of the wig head and my own head so that it would fit snugly. Marking out two points just above my ear, I bent the wire again so it would hook around my ear. After trimming off the excess wire, the support for the halo is complete. Last step was to paint everything to better blend it all together. The wires were all painted using the airbrush, and the halo was done using this really cool gold glitter medium. It's super thick, so it was able to stay on the smooth surface, but still needed about four coats. Because again, the LED strip was too smooth, and both airbrush and acrylic paints just slid right off. Once everything was dry, I added extra electrical wire length so I could hide the battery pack further down. Now, how to wear, because it's a little bit tricky. First, you need to wrap a piece of ribbon around your head and tie it off in the back. This is to support the halo from falling backwards. Place the wig on, then extract the ribbon ends from under the wig. When putting the halo on, you want to hook the ends into the mesh at the sides of the wig, right in front of your ears. In the back, tie the ribbon around the wire to secure it tightly to your head, then tuck the ribbon ends back into the wig. You can hide the wire by flipping the hair over it again, unfortunately ruining any wig styling you did. But that is the complete angel halo! Super bright, super portable, hella secure, and really easy to edit out the wire to make it look like it's floating.